Yeah. Of course. I, I couldn't imagine being a girl and having some boring ass fucking dude trying to stick his oh, hog in you. Ugh. It's gotta be brutal. Ugh. Yeah, Everywhere and, you go and then saying, hey, you know, you should probably smile a little. Make you look better. Like, oh. <laughs> I hate that move. Has that ever uh, worked? I don't I don't maybe must have. Guys do do that. They make us look bad. A Not really the, dumb no. guy and a dumber girl. Yeah, maybe it would work. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Sometimes I'm self conscious about my smile. <laughs> oh, you got a beautiful smile. You think so? Yeah. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah, like those two are made for each other. Yeah. You guys deserve but your both not. idiots. They really should both go into the woods and get eaten by wolves. That's uh -huh. what should happen in, right. in the real Like if, if we really were trying to make a better human race, there'd be more variables. There'd, isn't, there'd isn't, be more, more traps. That's true. That's true. But we got to be nice, you know? Well, we should be nice. We should be nice. But sometimes I think it's just genes. Like sometimes, mm. sometimes people just have knucklehead genes. Well, yeah. Sometimes I see people like you know you're walking down the sidewalk and you see in somebody's living room and they're eight thousand pounds. They're watching Two and a Half yep. Men. They got a bowl of Cheetos yep. and a beer, and you're like, you're kind of a waste of life. Like no yeah. offense, you, you you deserve life. You have a right to live, but. I'm out here trying to write jokes, and I'm driving from gig to gig. I'm doing pods. I'm going gay. Whatever it is, at least I'm trying something. At least yes. I have a little ambition. You're moving. You're yes. out there experiencing life. Yeah, even if you send a tweet out, at least like you put something into the world, even though it could be horrible. But like this guy, I'm just like you're, you're just waiting to die. You're yeah. just counting the minutes till you go. There's something about like, and then they have kids, and oh. then you're like, now you brought even more shit into the world. <sighs> ah, my oh, God, I hate myself. God, I'm damn. sorry. It's okay. You're all right. But like you know, you see, you're a dad of nine or whatever, and 80. then I have eighty kids. Eighty kids—that's a lot of testosterone you're putting in you. But, shooting loads all over the place. <laughs> but yeah, so you probably teach your kids like, hey, make something with your life. Yeah, well, they can only use electronics for a certain amount of time right. during the day. Good for you. They, um, you know, and they—they're involved in activities. They play sports. They do things. I think you gotta do stuff with them too, and also they have to see that you're doing stuff. Yes, as yes. a parent, like one of the things that kids get out of you is that they see you live by example. Yes, that's important. Totally. And and then on the flip side, though, I get selfish and I go, "Well, it's a good thing this fat cunt is uh, sitting in a bark lounge all night because now I get to go <laughs> and, and do something with my life, and he's not in my way." That, and you also feel better. You know, you, right, you, you right. come home from a hard day of getting after it. Yeah. You see that fat slob sitting in front of the TV laughing really hard at Big Bang Theory. Yes. And you're like, yes. Oh, okay, buddy, I'm fucking better than you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you hate to say it, but. You do hate to say it. But. That's why, like, sometimes I think us being, we're under six foot. And that, isn't that a bummer? Wouldn't you love to be six foot? I don't know, man. I come think on. something about me being short has helped me be more ambitious. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, That's what I'm saying. It makes you push. It's probably, probably a benefit to it. Right, right. Yeah. That's You want it. That's why, like, uh, this sounds bad, but ugly people are funny. So a lot of ugly people you, are funny. You got to bring it. They did some yeah. study where kids are more trust ugly people less. So it's oh, not yeah. just being shallow. It's kind of innate. Oh, yeah. Well, imagine being... A, a woman who has terrible genetics, and and there's probably someone listening to it right now, and there's not a goddamn thing you can do about yeah, that. Yeah, it's not your fault. You got a giant Fred Flintstone head. Sure. You're trying to make your way through this life with a football player's body. Oh, yeah. Got some moles on you. Oh, you got everything wrong. Your yeah. hair's falling out. You're like, <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. You got stubby fingers. Bad jowls. You know, yeah, got the turkey everything. neck. everything. Weird elbows. And you're just out there just trying to get after it. Yeah. And, and nobody wants it. Yeah, that's why I love an ugly lady who's horny. That's I'm your like, favorite? I love that. I'm not saying to bang. I mean, I have. But I love an ugly, <laughs> horny lady because she's. I feel like we have a lot in common. I have a buddy of mine, and his favorite is a girl with kind of a mugsy face but a killer body. Oh, He's that, like, those gals go to work. That <laughs> hits a nerve in a guy because you're like, it's attainable, and she's probably like got like normal self-esteem. She's not entitled. She's at the gym every day, all day, yeah. just fucking <laughs> doing squats. Yeah, it's the same with meathead, boring guys who are like, I got to get some traps because I got yeah. no. Uh, skills at, in, in, in uh, talking wise. Yeah, just find some dingbat chick and shoot those fucking loads into her. Yeah, you hope that the, all those groups meet. Like you dumb and then workout they get hit guy. By an asteroid. Yeah, right or that. There, right or on that. The spot. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, but sometimes like those assholes. dingbats have kids and those kids go, God damn, my parents are That's fucking true. stupid. I'm going to do something with my life. That's a good point. That happens a lot. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of really fucking smart people who have idiots for parents. That <laughs>